Notre Dame, Pope Leo, A Letter to Pope Francis. April 15, 2019 by Anna Von writes, I will destroy your church, part of the visions of Pope Leo, 1884. Smoke entered the church. Please, heed the warnings that were given to the churches. The book of the seven seals has been opened, and Daniel's book as well. I have read it. There can be no doubt that the judgment against the church is well begun and advancing at a terrifying rate. You must take action to separate yourselves from the evils of the Office of the Pontiff, Seed and Company, DTTC, the securitization and bonding of babies and other outrageous evils such as marriage licenses that reduce the sacred covenant to a commercial joint venture. As God chastised Pharaoh, he will chastise the church and Curia. The plagues and the burning will descend, as foretold, just as the flood was foretold to Noah. Humble yourselves, repent, give back to God what is God's, give back to God's people what is naturally theirs, liquidate the corporations that are causing all this misery, or as Pope Leo clearly foresaw, things will only get worse. Honor the work that I have begun to free the people of this planet from lies and hypocrisy and violence. Realize that I am who and what I say I am, the fiduciary sent to get an accounting from the steward. It's right in front of your noses in the Bible. We could hardly have been more forthright about who was in charge of what. Pay attention. The grandmother, Mary's mother, Anna, is the fiduciary of Jesus's family. You know how the Hebrew matriarchy works, whether you like to admit it, or not. It breaks my heart to see Notre Dame in flames and other Catholic churches suffering like this. If correction is not made by the Zionists in Jerusalem and by the Roman Catholic Church, the destruction and suffering will only spread. All those who are smug and who think that they will not be impacted need to think again. Including Jamie Dimon. God honors those who honor him. For too many years the churches and the synagogues have been run as commercial rackets. For too long too many priests and rabbis have been stuffed up on themselves and not devoted inwardly to what they preach outwardly. Even to the extent of treating baptismal certificates as financial instruments and buying and trading in souls, Francis, are you all insane? You allow this kind of thing to go on and think that God will not answer you for this? He will. He is. God has promised that the Levites must be cut off. Who are we to delay the complete reform of the judicial mechanisms? Who thinks that the mere rule of law will replace the law itself? The Curia must understand what they are up against. They stand in the Pharaoh's shoes and under demand to let my people go. They are calling down these plagues upon the church and the whole world by seeking to continue on in the old and crooked way. If you want help to end this, you know how to contact me. Where two or more are gathered with humble and contrite hearts, praying in the Spirit, there is our faithful and true Lord and Master, and with Him, is our Father. The way is not cut off. Anna Maria C. O. Box 520,994 Big Lake, Alaska, 99652.